All right, so what's your wine Wednesday, guys? And uh, sorry, I wasn't able to do one last week. Um, but I'm about to show you a great little Pinot from a winery, probably the best little winery from Central Otago that you've never heard of. Um, and to be fair, I've only recently just heard of them as well. They're called Moko Hills. And this is the box behind me. And I love the fact that you've got the M motif, you've got the H. It's all very cool and I know graphic design shouldn't matter but to me it does. You want your wines to stand out on the shelf and I personally like my wine bottles to look like money on the table and this one does and I love the fact that it's got the little Moko Hills motif on the cap. It also has a gorgeous little creature on the label. Now uh, this winery is owned and operated or this brand is owned and, owned and operated by a very very talented a uh, viticulturist and winemaker called Donald van der Westhuizen. And I'm very, very sorry, Donald, if I've mispronounced your surname. But um, what he's chosen to do with each of his wines, and he's got three, two Pinots and a Chardonnay, um, two turntables and a microphone, um, is he's he wants to put um, examples of um, grapes sort of, you know, flora and fauna from the Bendigo subregion which is where his vineyard is. So what we have here is the little Kawaro Gecko or Moko Moko. Um, yeah Moko Moko, I'm pretty sure that's how it um, how it's pronounced but there's it's also known as, and I'm just looking this up, the Woodworthia Cromwell and um, apparently you can see them scuttling around on the schist rock around the vineyard um, particularly in the summer months so they can get all nice and warmed up and it is you'll see these beautiful little flowers um, they are the korokia or korokia cotonista which is a little shrub um, found around the schisty kind of outcrops um, around the uh, around the vineyard as well so spring blooms tiny little yellow flowers um, followed by orange berries and uh, so this is on the 21 Pinot label and the artwork, I'm just going to scroll down here, Rachel Walker is the, the artist who has done this and um, she's done a very good job. So you can follow her on uh, Walker Illo. So what does it taste like? Well, let's have a little, a little go. I'll put the wine up there. Can you see? Cool. Um, Oh my goodness, huge. So anyway, a lot went into this wine and um, you know, a lot of winemakers will, will tell you this, but this is for real. So um, essentially what Donald's done, so he's, he's hand harvested his crop and his Pinot Noir Vignette has four different clones in it. So this is for a little bit nerdy. So you've got clone 777, uh, 115, Abel and UCD5. So four different clones, they're all hand harvested. Then what he's done, when the fruits come in, he's put them into three different fermenters. Okay, the first fermenter, he's put whole bunches in. Okay, so the, the whole bunches, stalks and stalks and all, um, into one fermenter. The next fermenter, he's put all the fruit, 100% of the fruit, through a destemmer. So just got the little berries, no stems, no nothing left. That's in the second fermenter. And then the third fermenter has a mixture of both. So about 70% um, whole bunches, 30% just berries. And then he's left them to ferment naturally with wild yeasts. So they're the yeasts that are um, in the atmosphere, in, in the winery. Um, and a lot of those berries will go through a thing called carbonic maceration, which is where they actually start to ferment inside the berry right, and then the, the berries will split, whether that's through a, a, a press or a crush, and then they sort of keep fermenting. Anyway, regardless, what it's meant is you have huge complexity in the wine. So, you know, um, I'm going ahead of myself. So essentially, they ferment, they're on their skins for about 23 days, maybe a little bit longer, then they're pressed into 100% French oak barrels, but they're old oak barrels. And even though I'm getting a smoky note on the nose, it's not overly oaky in fact it's not really not really oaky at all um 
Then for a year, they're in barrel, okay, the wines are in barrel, they go through a process called malolactic fermentation, which happens naturally in red wines. It's where malolactic bacteria kind of swim through the wine and they eat the, um, the malic acid, which is present in the wine, and that's quite a hard acid, and they metabolize that into lactic acid, which, you know, lactic acid, it's smooth, it's milky, it's creamy, so it just kind of softens the wine out. So once that's happened, the wine settles, and then um, the wine is then racked off those the old lees, and then Donald decides to take the very best barrels, the best tasting ones, blends them and um, bottles them, unfined and unfiltered, and that's why this wine you can probably see it looking a little bit cloudy, um, and that's a good thing. He's just decided that if he if he finds and filters, that might take away some of the true essence of the wine's flavors and textures, so he's decided not to do it. Now, it smells, and I'm not sure if this is because I've got his South African surname in my head, but it smells like, a, um, you know, that rooibos tea? I think I've pronounced that right. Um, yeah, rooibos tea and, and rhubarb and wild cherry. It's got... Um, mm. Like I said, that... Um, smoky savory character lots going on love the texture suede like smooth soothing delicious it's going to set you back about 59 dollars a bottle so it's not cheap but you know it tastes so stylish and um and i can still taste it so the flavor is lasting and lasting and lasting and yeah gosh i really it smells so good mm. Oh, and it's fresh. It just, I love it. It's yummy. So, how do we, how do we buy it? Let's have a look at the back label. Make sure I get this right. So, if you go to mokohills.co.nz, let's just see if I can make sure that that's nice and close. Yeah, mokohills.co.nz, and get yourself some. I don't know if there's a huge amount available, um, but yeah, really nice. Well done, Donald. I love this wine. So yeah. Have a great rest of your week, guys. Enjoy.